10 on your side has learned of some racially charged emails between high-ranking members of government go back more than a year. This as Isle of Wight County's Commonwealth's attorney is calling for resignations. 10 on your side's Andy Fox broke the investigation earlier this week and is here now with more on today's developments. Andy. Tom and Nicole, Commonwealth's attorney Wayne Farmer is the latest public official calling for the resignation of Supervisor Byron Bailey and school board member Herb DeGroft. You can read it online at wavy.com. 10 on your side also uncovered the racist emails did not surface in March as first thought, but first surfaced in January of 2012. It's just offensive. To Isle of Wight moment. County School Board yeah, member Denise Tynes remembers email. getting an email with past presidents on currency that included one that looked like this. President Obama was on the food stamp. And as you know, I sort of ignored it because they no longer have a food stamp. There's a card. Mm -hmm. That they give individuals. It was well, January 2012. Tynes had just been elected, and she was getting the offensive email from fellow school board member Herb DeGroff. It was coming to my school board email site, mm -hmm. and in, he was using his to send it. Mm -hmm. And I felt this this is something that I need to go to the league advisor for the school board. And that's what you did. And that's what I did. School board attorney Paul Burton would not comment on camera, but confirms he reminded board members not to send private emails on taxpayer paid for computers. And he just uh, did a generic announcement. You cannot generate any personal emails on the school board site at all. And Burton also mentioned to board members, not by name though, that some of the emails he saw were offensive. So Mr. Burton was aware that some of this stuff was racy? Yes. Tynes did not receive any more emails until a package of these emails showed up in her mail in March. When I got the package, I came directly here and handed it to Mr. Burton. I said, look at this. Someone has mailed this to me and you see who it's from. The emails were from Herb DeGroff, still sending the emails. These considered racist. Michelle Obama's high school reunion that she's getting paid $50 to model in National Geographic. And I was very disturbed by that because I thought it had stopped completely. But it continued behind our backs. At today's board meeting, I asked DeGroff if he plans to resign. Mr. DeGroff, are you going to stay on? No comment at this time, Andy. Herb DeGroff told me late this afternoon he can't remember the food stamp email, but says if Tyne says it happened, he takes her word for it. He said the same thing about the Paul Burton advisory. Can't remember it, but accepts it if that's what Burton and Tyne say. DeGroff says he's getting positive, supportive calls and does not plan on resigning. There could be a recall election in the future of Isle of Wight County, though, and we'll keep you posted on that. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.